All right, how's it going? It's been a while since I've made a YouTube video, but the other night, at like 10.30 at night, I had this impulse decision to go to the trail near my house and look for scorpions. And I told myself, if I caught one, I would make a video making an enclosure for it. And it so happens, I was successful, I found one, it's the smallest one I've ever found, but we got one. So yeah, this should be a pretty simple video making an enclosure for it. All right, so for the enclosure, I'm gonna be going with this 10 inch by six inch uh, terrarium. I have some sand. We're mixing a little potting soil on the bottom to give it a little more structure and I think I'll take one of these little cactus nubs. Even though it's not native, I think it'll still look really good in it. Um, oh wow, look, this guy's blooming here. That's, that's neat. Uh, yeah, Let's see how this goes. All right, I added the soil. I removed all the little fertilizer beads just in case scorpion would consume them. Now to mix the sand in, I might need to get some more. I know I have to find a hide for it. I think for a water dish, I'll probably just use like a little, uh, what's it called? Bottle cap, fill with water. It's, the scorpion is so small, so I think this will be good. And this is what we have so far. So I found a hide here, a little piece of palm tree bark. Added a couple of these little dead leaves in there. He's so small, he can even hide behind those. Added one of the little cactuses. Not native, but it looks good. And here will be the water dish. I added rocks inside to make it more shallow. In case he falls in, he will easily be able to crawl out. And yeah, I even wet the soil before and let it dry out. So that way, if he wants to burrow, it will hold its structure more. So yeah, next time you see him, he will be in there. So here's the little guy. So you can see he's very small, about an inch. Um, yeah, there's my finger for comparison, sorry. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to name him yet. First thought was Dwayne after the uh, Scorpion King that Dwayne Johnson played. But yeah, at least he's young, so he hasn't known much of a life outside and he has a long life ahead of him. Yeah, let me know if you know what species Dwayne here is. He s looks like a dune scorpion, but I think he's a California common. Let me know if you know. And there we go. This is the first day of what his enclosure looks like. Little dudes right here. I will find him some crickets. And yeah, keep you guys updated. Okay, Dwayne is in, he has moved, and I just found a cricket. There's a lot of baby crickets around here. Oh, there's a cricket. Oh. The cricket knew something was wrong. This might take a while, so I'll, uh, I'll come back in a little bit. Oh, his behavior is very cool. I have already saw him dig a few times and I'm glad I gave him some substrate to dig in. Cause man, he can dig fast. He can even move rocks way bigger than his pedipalps. But yeah, he's under there. Our cricket friend is over here. Now I did just order a black light, black UV light, so I can actually find these scorpions with much more accuracy. I was just using my phone flashlight when I found this one. So I'll definitely make a video going back out there and seeing what we can find out in the desert at night. 
Um, and yeah, I think that'll kind of be the focus of this channel, just documenting animals and plants that I encounter. I've always had a passion for plants and animals ever since I was a kid. You know, I used to catch bees off of flowers by grabbing them by their wings. Um, and I kind of want to get back to that, you know, being that, being free, being fearless around animals. Because there's really nothing to fear about them, you know. Well, yeah, most of them, you know. They, they fear us more than we fear them. And I feel like I've learned a lot of unnecessary fears growing up about these animals, you know. I went from being fearless to now all of a sudden, you know, having fears. And I feel like that happens to a lot of people. They you know, get influenced from other people, outside sources, etc. So, yeah, the purpose of this channel, I'll kind of be going back to my roots, um, unlearning some of those fears and just going back, back out there, back into nature. And yeah, if that's something you think you'd enjoy, stay tuned. Um, I'd appreciate it. I think we'll have a lot of fun on this channel. Yeah. Have a good one.